Hi everyone, it's Miss Sue coming in and today I want to show you a library system that I created for the children in my daycare. So what it is, they are able to borrow books from the school and then they return it in a week's time or they won't get any more books until they return the books that they borrowed. So these are some of the books that we have and I'll go to another section of books that we have also, yeah? So what it is, I got this system, it's a knock-knock, and I started out with this, and this is what it looks like, like um, I would write the name of the school, my school, and then the date that they needed to return the books. And I did that, but then because of my dyslexic brain, I was like, you know what, Sue, you're not gonna go through all of this loan date, phone number, no, because I'm just doing it for the children in my daycare. So what I ended up doing was to do a Word document. And this is what it looks like when we lend the books. And they return it on a part. As I said, it should be a week later, but sometimes they return it late. You know, but it is what it is. Now, what I ask the children and the parents is, please do not share your books with the younger children, especially the infants who are always ripping up pages. So over here, these are my hardcover books, right? So we have quite a number of books that they can come in here and choose from. And I allow the children to choose the books that they want. So they come in here, they choose the books that they want. And then, <clears throat> I do the system as indicated in here. Now I'm going to take you over to where my soft cover books are and to show you what they choose from too. All right, hang tight. Hey everyone, thanks for hanging tight. And here we are in this tight spot. I have a lot of books on this shelf. And these are some of the books that they um, returned um, recently. And I absolutely love this book, A Spot of Feelings in this you know, the day the crayon squid. And this is just a f great way of supporting early literacy skills in your um, environment and also to have a strong connection with the children and able for the parents to know what's going on. So on this side, <clears throat> you may be wondering how the children get the books. So I have these tubs that I pull out. Yeah, so I've got these four tubs that are filled with books. We pull it out. And then from time to time, you know, I'll like take a couple of books down <clears throat> and put it on the floor and let the children choose. So it's their choice. And sometimes too, it depends on what we're doing, the projects that we have been doing and what we were really digging into, then the children will also choose books, you know, like when we were doing the spot of feelings and a lot of feelings. The children chose books and even this one, um, the giraffe problems, you know, this is a good one too. So this one was loaned out, but as you can tell, my dyslexic brain didn't write the name I on in the book, but I wrote it on a piece of paper. All right. So I hope you may, or I hope you're inclined to try to see how you can create a library system for the children in your daycare because it's a really, 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 really great um, way to help the children and especially children who um, may not make it to the library, but you know, we can get books at garage sales. We can get ask our neighborhoods to donate books. Um, the families within my daycare, they donate books too. So if I get the books like that, then why not you know and yes there are books that i end up going out and buying for full price like giraffe and a half and leaf man and many other books that i have on the other side but it's just a great way to support your children over and out miss sue lots of love and make it a great one all right bye bye now